Hello, my name is Mark Walsh from Integration Training. I help a lot of people with stress, confidence and leadership. Um, often people ask me, how can I be less anxious? How can I deal with my anxiety? It might be for a presentation, for a sales pitch, for a difficult conversation they have to have at home. I think the first thing is the framing people have of anxiety. Um, anxiety is a normal thing. You know, it's, it's something we all, we all experience and um, it's also a good thing. Anxiety lets us know that something is important to us. So anxiety is a good messenger, a good signal to say, hey, this matters, pay attention. The other thing to realise is anxiety never looks as bad from the outside as it feels from the inside. So people might not even know that you're anxious. So on to the tips. So anxiety is our neocortex imagining a future, probably worse than it is. So anything where you can get as present moment again, get as mindful right here, right now, will reduce anxiety. Now the body is particularly good, good for that. Uh, I often feel myself in my chair or feel my feet ground down a little bit. Feeling the lower half of the body seems to, to bring the energy down and, and help a lot of people. Concentrating on your breathing though, anything that brings you present moment, giving yourself a little pinch, you know, anything like that that brings you right here, right now will be helpful. Um, I particularly like to relax my core. So this could be the eyes, the mouth, letting the abdomen be relaxed, that way your belly, belly can go out as you breathe in, your diaphragm can move down. That kind of breathing will really help take the edge off. Um, if you want to know more about that, look at the centering video. You also need to identify your pattern under anxiety. Some people tense up, some people hunker down, some people go forward. So once you've seen your pattern, you can then uh, undo that. So for many people, that's relaxing down. For some people, that's straightening up and coming out if they kind of shrink you know, with anxiety. So you need to know your individual pattern. Thinking, of course, is important. Uh, make sure your, your self-talk is positive. So rather than beating yourself up and telling yourself negative things, you're telling yourself encouraging things. Equally with images, rather than creating a picture of disaster, actually create, because our brains don't really know the difference between a picture and reality that we create and the reality out there. So create a picture which is positive. Create a picture perhaps at the end of the event that you're anxious about where it's all gone really well and then you just have to fill in the gaps up to that point. Careful of stimulants, uh, that could be coffee, coke, it could be electronic stimulants. Often people doing their email or looking at their Facebook, that can actually stimulate people in a way. So keeping away from chemical electronic stimulants. Uh, touch can be very grounding. So if you can, before I go on stage, for example, to do a talk, I'll get a hug off one of my colleagues. And I just find that really grounds me down. So I hope these tips help. Um, if you need more support, then of course, get in touch. If you have any tips of your own, uh, please put them in the comments. And to help us get up the YouTube rankings, please like and favorite this video. Thank you.